Hi Leo, it's Elle here to do your July 2018 general reading. This reading will not resonate with everyone. If it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Thank you to those who have already done so. Thank you to those for returning and to those who are new. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Take advantage of the $20 two question reading. Go over to my website. All information is below and book a reading. Find me on Instago. And it's an Apple app. So you have an Apple device. You can um, find me on Instago. Okay, so we have love. We have career and finance. And then we have additional cards of support. Past, present, future. Alright, so let's start with love. Under the deck. Uh, for love is the five of pentacles um, someone feel, feeling shunned left out uh, depleted low energy low self esteem within a situation could, now this is love so could be in a love uh, relationship whether it's romantic, friendship, family just feeling left out feeling like a castaway for some of you or this is how someone around you is feeling Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy so in the past we have a six of wands um, okay and then we have the strength cards and that's you Leo and we have the the fairlet or the temperance card okay and that's Sagittarius um, some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius directly um, you and this person or you and this some type of dynamic brings you a lot of recognition um, a lot of praise a lot of uh, you might be in a public eye Leo um, even in the midst of all this praise and and uh, attention you're still taming yourself and you're finding your balance which went, which very well may be another fire sign as Sagittarius. Um, you also could have just proposed to or been proposed to um, just having a really successful uh, fiery dynamic time uh, for yourself in the past maybe with someone else whomever it it is or whatever situation it is it brings you a lot of balance spirit is here this person can be very spiritual also very insightful um, you like being around them they like being around you there's a great dynamic there presently we're at the Queen of Wands the Prince of Wands and the Princess of Cups so Leo you may be trying to rush in really quickly to give someone an apology or just give them some words of encouragement of appreciation of love uh, or vice versa someone's doing this with you um, if it's vice versa you look at this person as very dynamic attractive charming funny charismatic outgoing an entrepreneur a mover and a shaker somebody just knows everybody it was, it's just you know has a really big personality um, they may be in and out sometimes off and on or or this is you Leo um, there might have been a separation here or a, or a time of not communicating in the best light so someone either you could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio wants to come in and offer loving messages um, even an apology or vice versa you're doing this with someone else uh, future six of pentacles eight of pentacles king of swords yeah um, for some of you it, it definitely is that you're trying presently you're trying to win a situation back over or vice versa you choose you know where you are this situation brings you a lot of balance we have the fairlet and the six of pentacles it's mutually beneficial it's equality it's I see myself in this person it's we we get a lot of attention when we're together uh, we give a lot of attention to each other 
we um we look good together i'm hearing um it's a perfect match with the six of pentacles and the eight of pentacles here it says that like i said either communication is cut off was cut off or communication just hasn't been um so loving or it's been off and on and um now someone is coming and offering real tangible um i want to have that equal that equality in this love relationship could be family a family dynamic you could be married you could have done something wrong leo or the it's the energy has just been off and now you're saying i'm willing to make this work i want to make this work i'm willing to put in the work i, I want to do this uh either you or someone else capricorn virgo taurus here also um then we have the king of swords you could be um a lot of times capricorn aquarius libra come up as the king of swords especially males so if you are a leo woman and um or same sex whatever um this could very well be aquarius libra or capricorn um you're coming to this person and saying hey i want to make this work or you're taking on the energy of the king of swords and say i want to be fair I want fairness, I want justice, I want honesty, I'm giving that, I want that, I, I'm willing to work on this. The King of Swords is all about fairness, justice, honesty, truthfulness, um, integrity, uh, they're, they're intelligent, they're smart, they're, they're strategic. Um, You may be going to this person and saying, I'm, 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 I've changed. I'm stuttering right now. Some of you might be stuttering, you know, like I, I want this. I, you know, I, I'm really trying here. Um, I know that maybe I have in the past been all about me. Um, I want equality and I'm willing to do the, the hard work to bring this back. Okay because you possibly like i said the communication may be cut be cut off or you may be shut out or cut off or you cut someone else off and they're doing this but somebody's cut out shut out and this is how they feel and they want they want back in okay all right so we have career and finance at the bottom of the deck career and finance we have the emperor so it's aries but he has the lion face this could be leo also um get back in control or you are in control you are a leader you um you're the shot caller where you are uh you might be over a large company or you might have employees you may be the one that makes the decisions on a on a high level. You're the stable one. Okay. All right. So career and finance. Five of water. Page of air. Two of air. The judgment call. This screams. Do what you want. Whatever you're doing right now is not what you want to be doing. You're hesitating before making a decision. Page of Air comes in and slices with that that sword of truth. Gives that sword of truth. Cuts things off. It's like the sky. It comes in and just shuts it out and, sh and shuts it off. But you you aren't doing that. You know you need to make a decision with the two of air. It could be dealing with a Libra. Or, uh, need your like Libra right now being a little bit indecisive knowing you need to make the decision not doing so you have your back turned toward the situation but your head cocked knowing that you need to look at this situation you need to make a decision the judgment call whatever decision it is you're gonna to have to be final and definite you're gonna to have to be like the Emperor makes it 
sound decisions he is or she is the emperor because they've been through a lot they know they know what they want they know where they're going they know how to lead they know how to organize the people they know how to get things done they will do the hard work um, they are willing to learn um, you might have to be a pupil is what I'm hearing uh, but you need to make a decision here it's bittersweet because you're in something that that serves you for a while but you have to uh, have to divide so yeah and then at the bottom of the deck for the butterfly oracle cards we have the end of an era <laughs> emperors typically rule um, well they rule all the land but they rule for a, a great amount of time they move they rule an era so it's the end of an era for you and now you're, you're moving on to something else you're moving on to an even higher greatness here uh, now this could be the end of an era definitely looking like in career and finance I don't really see any endings in love and romance it could be happening for you um, get in the comment section and let me know um, but the end of an era and end of an era speaks of you having done something for a very long time five or more years you uh, we got judgment here ten ten or more years you it's the end now you've gone as far as you can go here it's like the world card okay all right so we have get some rest some of you are not sleeping or not resting you sleep but you don't rest your your mind is boggled and filled with so many different things support support is here some of you need support in staying mentally um focused mentally stable now a lot of people don't want to talk about this um but mental health especially is um it's always shunned or the lack of mental health um or, or not being mentally healthy uh, it's not it's taboo you know it's not what we want to talk about because then we have to we have to look at the root of issues and and, and a lot of times we like to just deal with branches you know um, we can prune those we can pull them back we can you know do whatever but no one really wants to look at the root of issues but know that if you are dealing with an issue I don't know why why this is coming up for some of you an issue of mental instability um, uh, issue of mental health no, there is support for you. Someone is trying. And the King of Swords could be a therapist, psych psychiatrist, whomever. Um, you may be going to someone saying, I want to put the work in. I know that I need help. And you have support here. Okay. Um, Leo men. I read a statistic. Leo men around the time of mid-20s of mid to late to early 30s. Somewhere between early 20s to mid 30s they have a higher tendency to um, just outright lose their mind go absolutely crazy um, it's very um, prone to, to for Leo men to just completely go bonkers and I've seen it before in in two Leo gentlemen they were fairly young and that that is um, I'm not saying that it rings true for everyone, uh, but if that's what you're dealing with, don't be ashamed. Uh, and, and don't think that Leos are the only people that's going crazy. Everybody's going crazy. You know, everybody's got a little crazy. You know. Anyhow, let's move on. <laughs> got, I know we get all kind of comments for that. Uh, adult children. Adult children are highlighted. We have the Princess of Cups here. Um... Of course, you could be the adult child. Um, you might need to go backwards and deal with, uh, you know, some parental care here. Um, or you may have young adult children. We got the Page of Air and the Princess of Cups. Um, they may hold some answers for you. So, like I just talked to my daughter today. My daughter will be 15 in two days. Yep, in two days. And um, talk to her about an issue. Uh, without getting too buddy buddy and friendly we're not friends um, we're mother and daughter but I talked to her about an issue and she gave me her 15 year old perspective on it and I thought it was cute um, 
and I thought it was something to just take into perspective. Sometimes our children, our young adult children hold the answer, hold the key. Uh, they're highlighted here for some of you. Um, talk to them. This can help you move forward in any situation, okay? And then we have seeking and finding. This is definitely about doing the work, Eight of Pentacles, doing the work. Um, like I said, some of you need to seek out support, help for whatever it is you're going through, seeking and finding. What you are seeking is looking for you all, so you will find it. So um, don't be afraid to go and you know conquer that okay Leo this is a really good reading love looks um, like it could be very prosperous for you you have to do the work you messed up in the past let's just be honest um, go and do the work and be real about it if you're not real about it let it go uh, grieve the situation and move on but if you know that you, you're real about this you want this and you value this person or persons that you're going to um, be willing to do the work uh, okay so Leo remember to stay in prayer I'm praying for you pray for me as well take care and I will talk to you guys in mid July okay uh, happy 4th of July I haven't been saying it in other readings so you guys are first okay if you if you're in the states and you celebrate or you don't celebrate or whatever happy 4th of July happy fun day where you can be with your friends and family okay bye